to show you an exercise here that is for uh, the rotator cuff muscles and what we want to get at with that is shoulder stability. So this is pretty much a bastardized version of a regular uh, therapeutic um, rotator cuff exercise you might see at, at any uh, physical therapy place, but it's going to be specifically geared towards helping your bench press. And the reason that we want some, some rotator strength, and specifically the external rotators, the ones that twist this way, um, is because we want to ride that bar low, especially if you're wearing a shirt, and you want to ride that bubble as low as you can. And you also want to ride it down there if you're getting a good arch and you want that decline leverage. So there's lots of good reasons to be able to have a lower touch point, but you don't want to lose the bar off of the shirt and have it fall and flop on your belly either. So you want to have the strength to hold that bar as low as you can and ride it nice and low in your press. You don't want to press up by your neck and throat. That's not strong. This is strong, but you don't want to lose it. So it's a, it's a fine line, but having some strength and being able to pull back if it happens to start to move, you get a couple hundred pounds going that way, and it's going to want to keep going that way. So you'd really have to have a lot of strength to be able to pull it back. So this is an exercise that we're going to use to, uh, to, to get at that point. So what I'm going to have her do is take a bar in her bench grip and she's going to take her elbows and turn them out. Actually, let's, let's do the, let's do the bastardized version first. Let's show them what, what a, um, a regular, uh, therapy rotation is. So that would be at 90 degrees here, and you just rotate forward with the bar all the way forward, keep going, keep going, and then you keep the elbow supported and then rotate backwards. And this is just a normal, regular, everyday uh, therapeutic, and these are great, these will do the job for you, but I wanted something more specific to bench press. And so what I did was I changed this exercise a little bit. And the adaptation is you get a bench press grip and you straighten the arms, turn the elbows out, straighten the arm, good. Now what she wants to do is twist the bar back. Instead of doing just a raise with her uh, front delts, we don't want to use these muscles at all. They get plenty of work from benching. We want to use the deeper muscles, the muscles you can't see that are underneath and they're back here. These muscles come from back here and they reach forward and they pull this way. So what she wants to do is she wants to twist, go ahead, and raise the bar just above her eyes and then back down. And what we should see is a kind of a twisting motion. And you have to be careful with this. Start light, get a, get a bar, Work your way up to a 45 pound empty unloaded bar. Straighten those out a little bit. Good. And work your way up and you can get pretty strong at this. So the motion starts back here, not up here. That was a good twist. That was a nice one. Now do one wrong. Just tuck the elbows down underneath here a little bit. Yeah. And just raise the bar up and down like a front raise. And you see the muscle that's working now, it, it, it's nothing back here. This is underneath it all. This is the muscle that's working now. And that's a great front delt exercise, but that's not what this is about. So just raising the bar from your knees to over your eyes is not going to get it done. You've got to access these deeper muscles. Straighten that out a little bit. Good. Now twist it back and then set it down nice and slow. Don't drop it on Jakey. She wants to work out with us. Right in here, twist, that was good. Take your time with that twist. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And relax. Good. So this exercise has benefits of not only strengthening the supporting muscles, but it also has specific application to the bench press in letting you ride the bar lower and lower and lower and getting a, a deeper and deeper arch. The better your arch, the lower that bar can be. And you want both of those things. So this is an exercise that is sort of, it, it's a, a prescription 
for getting a low, low bar path. But even if you don't have that low of a bar path, what harm is it gonna do to increase the stability of your shoulders? None whatsoever. So these should be part of at least your off-season work, I would think.